Two common areas of problems in athletes about their shoulder is that their acromioclavicular joint or the AC joint as well as the biceps tendon. We can do very specific examinations to try to figure out those areas. The AC joint, at least by palpation, is going to be at the end of the clavicle, so we'll be able to palpate directly on that. If we press down and it causes pain, we would expect that that would be an AC joint problem or maybe osteolysis of the clavicle. If I pull down, distract the shoulder distally, if you had an AC separation, the clavicle will ride up and we'll see a larger bump in this area. Also, we can actually do a crossover test. As I bring his shoulder across his body, it will squeeze the clavicle together with the end of the acromion bone. If he has arthritis or an AC joint separation, it will hurt directly in that area. Evaluating biceps tendinopathy or irritation of the biceps tendon because of overuse, we'll palpate directly along the biceps tendon and then we want to do some movements that will actually exacerbate the tension along the biceps tendon. Jurgensen's is the classic, and what we'll have the patient do with his arm at his side, resist supination. So we'll ask him to put his hand palm up. Twist, twist, twist. There you go. So as he twists palm up, the biceps is on tension, and it's all the way tight all the top, to the, towards the top of his shoulder. If that exacerbates his pain, it's a sign of biceps tendinopathy. Speeds test with his arm nor in full extension, resisting forward flexion. You can see the biceps being taut. Again, it'll pull on the biceps tendon. If he has biceps tendinopathy, that will exacerbate his pain.